You are welcome to another session of Sam's Economics uh, Tutorials. In today's uh, video, I'm going to be teaching you how to calculate equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity, and also to calculate the consumer surplus and the producer surplus. So we start. The question has been given us, given that the demand function PD equal to 100 minus 0 0.5 QD, and the supply function PS is, is equal to 10 plus 0 0.5 QS. So the A part requires us to calculate the equilibrium price and quantity. So solution. So we know that at equilibrium, quantity demanded is equal to quantity supplied. So from here, we are going to equate a, a demand function to the supply function. So we are going to have PD to be equal to PS. And we know that our demand function was given as 100 minus 0 0.5. Now we are just going to replace it with your 0.5 kilo to be equal to. Now we equate it to the supply function, which is which is 10 plus 0.5 kilo. So from here we collect like terms together. We are going to have 100 minus 10 to be equal to 0.5 plus 0.5 kilo so when this 0.5 kilo comes to this side it becomes positive and we are going to have when we subtract uh, 10 from 100 we are going to have 90 to be equal to 1 kilo which are equilibrium quantity which uh, gives us our equilibrium quantity to be equal to our equilibrium quantity q to be equal to 90 90 units from here we can Look for our equilibrium price now by substituting the value of Q in any of this equation. So let's substitute in the demand function. We are going to in the demand function our equilibrium price will be 100 minus 0 0.5 into 90. Since our Q is 90, we now replace it with the we now replace our Q with 90. So when we say when we substitute in the demand function, we will have 100 minus 0 0.5 into 90. So when we do that, we are going to have 90 multiplied by 0 0.5 gives us 45, and 100 minus 45 gives us our uh, 55, our equilibrium price. Price. That's a P to be equal to. 55 US dollars. So that's our price, our equilibrium price. So the second question, the second question requires us to calculate the consumer surplus. And we know that consumer surplus is the difference between what consumers are willing to pay and what they actually and what they actually pay. So we are going to represent this on the graph. Let me put it. Let's say we have a graph like this. On this axis we have price. On this axis we have quantity, let's say Q. So and we put the, the supply curve and the demand curve. This represents the supply curve. And this represents the demand curve. 
Tulis or prints are equilibrium. Equilibrium quantity and price. So our equilibrium quantity was 90 units. So we have 90 units. And our equilibrium price is 55 or US dollars. So we put a 55 here. So now we need to look for we need to look for the uh, price intercept in the demand function and the price intercept in the supply function. So let's go to so let's look at this point. This point. So the price intercept in the supply function is a point where uh, the quantity is zero. So when we insert zero here, we are going to have 0 0.5 multiplied by zero. That gives us zero. And what we are going to be left with is 100. So we have 100 here. And we we'll go to the supply function. We'll do same. So when we insert a zero in the quantity, uh, in the quantity to have the uh, price intercept we multiply 0 0.5 by 0 that gives us 0 and what we are left with is 10 so what we are going to have now we have 10 that represents our, our price intercept the value of price when quantity is 0 now look for consumer surplus and producer surplus now we know that uh, consumer surplus plus that's how we are, we are now at B so we now have B consumer surplus now on this graph is the area above the equilibrium price and below the demand curve so we now look for this area of triangle which is half base which is half base times height so the base here represents uh, this quantity from this area to this area so our base b is equal to 90 so under our height the height is the difference between 100 and 55 so when we subtract 55 from 100 our height is equal to is equal to 45 So we are going to have consumers so plus to be equal to half into 90 multiplied by 45 and we are when we do this calculation our, our consumer surplus will be equal to 2025 US dollars. So that's our value for consumer surplus. We can now look for producer surplus. We can now look for producer surplus, which is equal to. We know that our producer surplus is what producers are willing to receive after the sale of their product and what they actually receive. So we are also going to say, and this uh, represents the area of the triangle be below the equilibrium price and above the sup supply curve. So we are going to take this uh, area, which we are still going to look for the area of the triangle as half base times high and here we are going to have our base as 90 and the height equal to 55 minus 10 which I gives us 45 so our producer surplus is equal to half 90 
multiplied by 45 which comes out to be 2,025 US dollars so that's our value for producer surplus and lastly total surplus we were asked to look for total surplus total surplus is equal to consumer surplus plus producer surplus so we are going to add these two values this one and this one so we are going to add this one and this one so we are going to have 2025 plus 2025 which gives us a total surplus to be equal to 4050 50 US dollars. So that's it for our video for today.